We played a really hard game, really smart game. They got the pucks in behind, and, uh, and we're real physical. So the first period, I feel, is even. The second one, I, we, we won't like that very much at all. Um, somewhat self-inflicted, but yeah, we're like, we like the third period. We at three-three, um, we're pretty excited about where we're at. What was the biggest issue in that second period? I just how we moved the puck, and, and I think some of the the zone time that we had in the first and, and in the third period is is the template of what we would like to do and and we, we couldn't sustain a lot of pucks in the you know, part of it's how we moved it some of our physicality but it got to be a loose neutral zone game which is a place we've been real strong and we weren't particularly good there vancouver had two goals and uh 10 shots on those first two penalty kills yep. um is that becoming a real area cons of concern and it hadn't been today but we, we touched that i mean on both those kills that are in that i think we touched it six times before four in the first and three uh, two in the second and then that will kill you if you can't clear the puck and we got to be able to get it down win those battles uh that's a concern Josh Maher was saying that one of the big areas that he wished they would better tonight was one-on-one -on -one battles. You guys lost a lot along the board. Yeah. You know yeah, I mean, that's a, a big part of what we do. So we, we yeah, we, we didn't uh, we didn't kill the plays we needed to in the second period in the offensive zone, but it was more the D zone pucks that we didn't pull yeah. off and, and get out. You know, that was a and bit of a challenge. Just on that, 15 giveaways tonight and quite a few in your own end. Just how do you clean that up? A little better puck support, flatten a few pucks out. And then I wouldn't bet my house on the giveaway takeaway numbers. It's just do you, guys, you may want to take your own on those. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you th do you think you guys need to be more aggressive in those passing lanes on the penalty kills? Because that was some really something that really changed last year on the penalty kill as well. So um, We'd have to, you and I'd have to talk about the same thing. So a, a real aggressive penalty kill, you want to push the puck as much as you can. They move it around pretty well. And then in terms of being aggressive in the lane, just fighting harder. So you can't, it's difficult to do both, be in a lane and be driving your legs at the same time, especially the way they move it across the top. They create an awful lot of lanes. But neither one of them were particularly dangerous uh, if the clear happens. We like what's going on, but we've touched it twice. Uh, three uh, three real clear ones on the first one, and we didn't get it down. And, and you know that's coming, going to bite you. And the second one too. I mean, we touched that puck twice. It's got to go. Sam Reinhardt, Sam Reinhardt's been a goal scorer his whole career. But do you notice anything different in how he's playing this last first, you know, last five games here? Well, he's continued to improve himself every year, and um, he worked incredibly hard this summer uh, to be one of our fittest athletes. And you can tell he's got the legs. He's driving. I've always liked the idea of him and Barkoff together. Just we ran 20 games last year, and it didn't. It just didn't produce. Now there were chances; they just didn't finish. So some of that is a little bit like you know, the power play confidence. When one goes, you start. It starts to happen for you, and there's no real change in your game. I think Rodriguez makes enough good, solid plays with the puck, and Barkoff is moving faster than the hole. So that's clearly the line that we have going. And now we've got a. I liked what Stanlon's line did tonight. They came out and I ran them against Miller in the third, and that opened up some other options for us. So I, re I was happy with that. We've got to get the middle six in that to go in a little bit. Evan should have had three, three points tonight. To make yeah. All primaries. Yeah, I'm not. Look at a bit of an even keel at the start of the year. We do have some challenges right now, and, and we're not expecting world domination. He made a couple of really good saves toward the end, and that's also part of the difference. But I, I don't like ever saying we had our chances but we didn't win the game that's usually what the team that loses says so we uh it, i don't expect you to be able to play the third all three periods like the third or you would have uh, i don't know what that works out to about 57 shots on goal I don't, I don't have that expectation but we can look a lot more like we did in the third on a consistent 60 minute basis and i think we had it's like the, the the seven periods coming into period two here were, were pretty darn good, and the second period hurt us a bit. But we were still in that game, and it's three three. So we had a, an event that happened for the, on the game winner that just won't happen again, and it was a highly unusual event. So we move on. I was just saying that he's you know wherever he is. I mean, he's been shoveling it out pretty well with Barkov. On the there's first something. One, yeah, and, I mean, there's and something there, and, and I don't find them to be. You worry about that line would at times overpass pucks, right? Because they're all, in some ways, passers. They're all gifted passers. But I, I find that they're starting to, especially when Barkov shoots the puck, it changes the dynamic of what that line can do. So I just, it's there. It's there. We're just going to stay in the, we're just going to keep, you know, all the oars in the water. Keep going. We'll be fine.
And it seems like there's still some growing pains with the defense. Is there yeah. any plan to make a change there, maybe get Mike Riley in? Um, well, like I said, you know, I think we just beat two really good teams coming in here. So I don't, I don't think that you react that quickly, and it's not a statement of Mike Riley. There's a, a challenge with the six lefties, right? So you're going to have to you're going to get into some scrums and some banging along the walls, and those guys have been pretty good for us. So well, we're not cutting anybody tonight. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Thanks, Thanks,